function of the coach. Okay, right? So C program, yes, it's a collection of functions. Yes, here C language, it's a functional oriented language. Reason in C language, every task is handled by the function. In C language, every task by the function. That's the reason it called us it's a functional oriented language. C is a functional oriented language. Right? Okay. Yes, next. Yes, next. It is a compiler based. So previously, previous class we discussed C is a compiler based. Yes, it's a compiler based. Yes, compiler. C is a compiler based language. So previous class we discussed it. Yes, interpreter based languages and compiler based languages. Interpreter and compiler. Yes, main difference. Interpreter compiler generating exe file. Right? Interpreter does not generate exe file. Interpreter does not generate dot exe file, whereas compiler generates exe file. Yes, in C language, it's a compiler based. Since it's a compiler based, since it's a compiler based, it generates exe file. So it's exe based. Okay. So you say exe, yes, compiler based, right? Yes, compiler generates exe file. In C language, first of all, compiler generates exe file. After generating exe file executes, then finally giving output. So it is a compiler based. C is a compiler based language. Okay, fine. Yes, C is a functional oriented language and it's a compiler based. It's a compiler based. Right, okay. Yes, next. <coughs> Here, C language, this one performs the features of high level language as well as low level language. C language performs the features. Yes, features, features of high level language features of high level languages as well as as well as low level language features low level language features high level language features as well as low level language features yes c language performs the yes it performs yes c language yes it performs yes it performs c language performs yes c language performs Yes, C language performs. Yes, it performs features of C language performs. It performs features of high level languages as well as low level languages as well as low level languages. So here low level and high level languages. So what is high level language features? Here? Let us see high level language features. Yes, high level language features. Yes, high level language features. What are the features of high level language here? Yes, high level language features, easiness. High level language like English language, easiness. Easy to understand. Yes, high level language looks like English language, then it's very easy to understand. Easiness. Okay, so easiness, high level language, easiness. Next, low level languages. Yes, low level language features. Okay, so what are the low level language features here? Low level language. Yes, performance is more in low level language performance performance yes performance is more performance is more in low level language performance is more see yes in high level languages easiness yes high level language easiness easy to understand programming and everything here easy to understand easy to write the programming here yes everything easy easiness easiness high level language it's easiness right yes when you come to low level language here Yes, performance is more. Yes, what is the reason here? Suppose if it is high level language, every instruction has to convert into binary code. In high level languages, every instruction has to convert into binary code. Yes, to convert into binary code, system will take some time here. System will take some time, but code is already converted code. Yes, already code is converted here. Already code is in the binary format. Already code in the binary format that gives some more performance. That conversion time is not required here. Okay. Yes, you program. You program is high level language here. High level languages. That code has to convert into binary code. That high level language program has to convert into binary code. To convert into binary code, system will take some time here. To convert into binary code, system will take some time, right? Okay. So performance is less. Yes, when come to low level language, performance is more. Reason is that code is already in binary code. Already converted code. Already converted code here. Yes, binary code that gives some more performance. Right, okay. Yes, so there are different here. High level language features are easiness. Low level language. Yes, low level language features are yes, more performance. Yes, when it comes to C language, yes, the C language performs. 
yes it performs features of high level language as well as low level language that means like uh, all the high level language like java c and c++ like java c++ python and all high level language like all the high level language c language easy to understand and easy to learn here okay easy to work the program here easy to write the program easiness like all the high level language c language very easy c language easy to understand easy to write the program here okay yes easy to all the applications easiness okay next when come to performance here yes when compared to any other high level language c language performs better yes c language performs better here yes when compared to any high level language c language performs better correct so your performance is better compared to any yes compared to yes compared to any high level language yes compared to any yes compared to any other high level language yes compared to yes here compared to any high level language compared to any high, high level language here c language performance is better right okay yes c language easiness as well as performance is more compared to any other high level language it stands middle of these two languages c language yes stands middle mid of these two languages so this is called as middle level language c is a middle level language so next third one is yes it is a it is a middle level language it is a middle yes middle level language it is a middle level language it is a middle level simply you can say finally it's a middle level language c language c language performs the features of high level language as well as low level language okay yes c language easy to understand next at the same time performance is more than compared to all other high level languages it stands middle of these two languages c language stands middle of these two languages c language stands middle of these two languages okay so that's the reason called as middle level language yes so this is just just introduction okay so what is c language what is c language first point it is a functional oriented language reason in c language every task by the function reason in c will c language every task by the function next it's a compiler based compiler based yes in c language compiler c program compiling by the compiler here converting to binary code by the compiler so it's a compiler based next it's a middle level language right okay so this is in a text right okay yes same thing it's there in document you see the document c language is a middle level language reason yes as it performs features of high level languages easiness next as well as low level language more performance it stands middle of these two languages so that's the reason called as middle level language right okay next c language c language is a functional oriented language reason since every task performed by the function here every task by the function so this is about c language just in action yes next let us see history so what is history of c language so next about history yes history history of c language so what is history of c language what is history of c language let us see history of c language what is history here c language history okay so what is history of c language see before development of c language before development of c language we have the machine language and assembly language before development of c language we have machine language and assembly language these are not easy to understand okay yes here before development of c language we have these two generations like first generation and second generation of course c language comes in the fourth generation okay so, yes c language generate yes developed long back even developed long back comes in the fourth generation right okay yes before c language we have these two generations like machine language assembly language before 70s before 70s yes we have machine language and assembly language these are completely understandable language right okay so these languages are not easy to understand machine language assembly language these are not easy to understand next they are not easy to write the program very complex teacher okay very complex very complex with this program right with this uh, language okay yes to overcome that okay complexity those progress those languages are very complex 
how complex to understand here yes binary code machine language next hasm language yes very complex to understand very complex to understand that yes to overcome that to overcome that here yes initially yes in 1960 yes in 1960 yes some international committee yes some international yes international committee was formed some international committee in 1960 some international committee yes committee yes some international committee was formed international yes yes international committee was formed committee was formed and developed a language called algol 60 algol 60 yes algol 60 algol 60 means algorithmic language 1960 yes. so first step is algol 60 okay yes to overcome the disadvantage of to overcome the disadvantage of machine language and assembly language in 1960 some international committee was formed here some international committee was formed the developed language called algorithm 60 okay yes same thing is there in document that is three that is three is there see yes 1960 algorithm 60 this is by the international committee here some international committee is formed here right and developed language called algorithm 60 right this is so this is first step in development of c language so the first step is 1960 algol 60 algorithmic language 1960 algorithmic language 1960 right yes next step. yes one second first step is algol 60 i'll write here algol 60 this is in 1960 by the international committee yes after algol 60 here next cpl yes next cpl okay combined programming language cpl stands for combined programming language okay yes here cambridge university yes cambridge cambridge university yes cambridge university has taken algol 60 cambridge university has taken algol 60 added some features to cpl yes cambridge university has taken this algol 60 added some more features to algol 60 then released as cpl right okay so here algol 60 initially it was algol 60 here yes next cambridge university cambridge university added some more features to algol 60 release as cpl cpl yes this was happened in the year yes 19 yes 63 1963 so first algol 60 by the international committee yes in the year 1960 in the year 1960 so next yes same this algol 60 yes it was taken by the cambridge university added some more features and released as cpl in the year 1963 cpl combined programming language cpl stands for combined programming language okay yes after this next after cpl next bcpl bcpl basic combined programming language so this is by the yes martin richards martin yes richards richards at cambridge university yes martin richards at cambridge university at cambridge university so this is in year 19 yes 67 in the year 1967 in the year 1967 okay yes here martin richards martin richards at cambridge university yes this martin richards added some more features to cpl yes this martin richards added some more features to cpl and released as bcpl in the year 1967 yes developed bcpl in the year 1967 right yes after bcpl next b language b language so b language this is by the yes ken thompson yes ken thompson ken thompson on tennis richie tennis richie so next step is b language ken thompson on tennis richie at AT anti bellabs AT anti bellabs 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 yes in the year 1970 this is in the year 1970 so next step is b language okay so here yes ken damson on tennis rishi ken damson on tennis rishi these are the employees of AT and bellabs they are working in r and d division ken damson Dennis Rishi, they were the employee of AT&T Bellabs. They are working in R&D division. R&D division. 
research and development in research and development region so these guys yes ken damson dennis richie these persons has taken bcpl yes added some more features they have taken bcpl added some more features and released as b language this is in the year 1970 year 1970 right okay so first initially here before c language before c language we have machine language and assembly language machine language and assembly language these are not easy to understand yes not easy to write the programming so very complex very complex to understand very complex to write the program right to overcome all the disadvantages here some international committee was formed some international committee was formed here yet they came out with a language called alga 60 they have developed a language called alga 60 so alga 60 this was in year 1960 this is this is first step in development of c language alga 60 alga 60 is a first step yes alga 60 is a first step in development of c language alga 60 is a first step in developing c language right okay yes next later this alga 60 taken by the cambridge university taken by the cambridge university added some more features this alga 60 taken by cambridge university added some more features added some more features and released as cpl in the year 1963 cpl stands for combined programming language combined program language so next next the cpl the cpl yes taken by the martin richards at cambridge university cpl taken by the martin richards at cambridge university added some more features and released as bcpl released as bcpl bcpl in the year yes in the year 19 yes, 67 this is in the year 1967 bcpl stands for basic combined programming language basic combined program language right okay yes next finally here this ken damson dennis chi these two persons at atnt bellas these were the employees of atnt bellas these were the employees these were the employees of atnt bellas okay these employees yes these employees these employees yes taken bcpl they added some more features and released as b language b language in the year 1970 1970 right? yes after this finally finally yes dennis richie finally dennis richie has taken best features of bcpl and b language added some more features released as c language released as c language so this is by the dennis richie c language by the dennis richie so dennis richie has taken dennis richie has taken best features of bcpl and b language and added some more features released as c language so yes, c language yes c language is a combination of bcpl and b language okay c language yes it contains best features from bcpl and b language right best features from bcpl and b language so c it's a combination of bcpl and b language right so you can dennis richie finally finally dennis richie finally the dennis richie has taken best features of bcpl and b language and developed c language right? yes this was happened in the 1972 1972 yes at at bellops this also at and t bellops okay at and t bellops dennis richi at at and t bellops okay at at and t bellops okay in the year 1972 yes in the year 1972 here in the year 1972 right okay so this is development history of c language development history of c language right okay see same thing is there in document here yes in documents year 1960 yes language algal 60 language algal 60 here yes this is by the international committee international committee right okay next 1963 cpl combined programming language combined program language this is by the cambridge university cambridge university next 1967 yes bcpl basic combined programming language this is by the martin richards at cambridge university martin richards at cambridge university next 1970 yes b language 1970 b language so this is dennis richie and ken damson at atnt bellows dennis richie and ken damson at atnt bellows right okay 
Next, 1972 C language. Finally, C language in year 1972 by the Dennis Ritchie. Yet, yet in the Right, okay. So, this is development history of C language. Okay. Yes, here question is why named as C language? Why not other name here? Why named as C language? Anyone can you answer this? Can anyone can expect this answer? Anyone can expect this answer? Why named as C language? Yes, guys. Why named as C language? Hello, guys. Because it's an extension of B language. Yes. Yeah, hundred percent right. Half term it is a C language. Before C, it is a B language. Half term it that's it. Just it's a alphabet ladder. Just it's a alphabet ladder. There is no reason in this. Okay. Half term B, it is C language. Yes, in alphabet right. Yes, hundred percent right. C, it is in alphabetical order. Half term B next is C language. That's it here. There is no reason in this. C language means don't think computer language. C means computer. No, it's not like that. Yes, in previous math, somebody has answered this one. C means computer. Computer language. C language means computer language. No, that is not answering yet. C language just based on just only alphabetical error. So previous first year B language before C there is a B language. That's it here. Just only alphabetical order here. Nothing here. No reason behind of this. So pre before this B language. Just a continuation to B language. Just it's a continuation to B language. That's the reason called as C language. So this is history of C language, right? Okay. Yes, one second. See any program running on some OS edge without OS programs will not run, right? In previous class we discussed them. To run any program, some OS sequence. Now what's a OS using to run C program here? Initially, so initially what 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 is the OS? What is the voice to run the C program? Yes, MS task. Yes, it's the MS task basically. At yes, that time, we don't have Windows and Unix and all the operations here. We have only one operation called MS task. Okay, so that initially here. Yes, initially. Yes, initially C language. Yes, C language. Initially C language. Yes, C language. Yes, was developed. Was developed for? Yes, developed for MS task. Microsoft Disk Operation. Yes, it's a task based compiler. So initially it's a task based compiler. Yes, initially C language was developed for task ways, task operating system. So it's a task based compiler. So initially, initially C language compiler. Initially C language compiler. Yes, yes, was it? Yes, initially, initially C language compiler. Yes, at the beginning, initially C language compiler, compiler. Compiler is a DAS OS compiler here. DAS based compiler. DAS based compiler is a DAS based compiler. So initially C language compiler. Initially C language compiler is a DAS based compiler, right? DAS based compiler. Okay, fine. So it's a DAS based compiler, right? Yes, next. Later. Turbo. Turbo is the name of the company. Yes. Turbo is a name of the company in ESA. Turbo is a name of the company in ESA. Turbo has taken has taken rights. Turbo has taken rights on C language. Turbo has taken rights on C language. Yes, taken rights on DOS based C language care. Yes, later Turbo has taken rights on yes, rights on C language. C language and released as released as Turbo C. Released as Turbo C in the market. Turbo C released as Turbo C. Yes, unreleased. Yes, released. Released as Turbo C in the market, right? Turbo C in the market. Released as Turbo C. Right? So what is Turbo C here? Turbo C. See Turbo C compiler. Turbo C. Yes, Turbo C compiler is a DAS based compiler. Turbo C is a DAS based compiler. Turbo C is a DAS based based kit. DAS based compiler. DAS based compiler. Yes, Turbo C is a DAS based compiler. So this is DAS based compiler. Clear? Yes, usually C compiler is a DAS based compiler. Yes, Turbo. Turbo is the name of the company. Yes, that company has taken rights. Turbo has taken rights on DAS based compiler released as Turbo C market kit. 
So turbo C is a dust-based compiler. Turbo C is a dust-based compiler. Okay, fine. Yes, next. Next one more here. Yes. So this is uh, okay. So initially it's a task-based compiler. It's okay. So next in the year 1973. In the year 1973. Yes. In the year 1973. Yes. Here Dennis Ritchie. In the year 1973. 73. Dennis Ritchie. Next, Ken Damson. Ken Damson and Brian Kernigan. Yes, in the year 1973, Ken Damson. Yes, Dennis Ritchie, Ken Damson and Brian. And Brian. Brian Kernigan. And Brian. Yes, Kernigan. And Brian Kernigan. Yes, in the year 1973. In the year 1973, Dennis Ritchie. Next, Ken Damson. Brian Kernigan. Kernigan have developed. Developed a Linux base. They have developed. They have developed a Linux base. Linux base. Sorry, Unix base. They have developed Unix base. Okay. So in the year 1973. In the year 1973, Dennis Ritchie. Ken Damson, Brian Kernigan, yes, have developed a Unix base. That was happened in 1973. Unix base. Okay. Yes, Unix is a first server in the market here. It supports networking. DAS does not support networking. Unix supports networking. Okay. They have developed Unix base. Right. Okay. Yes, next. Next in the year. Yes, 19. In the year 1979, yes, in the year 1979, here Dennis Ritchie and Ken Damson. In the year 1979, Dennis Ritchie, Dennis Ritchie and Ken Damson. Okay, they have rewritten. Yes, how rewritten? Rewritten C compiler for Unix base. Initially, it was DAS based, right? Initially, C compiler is a task based. C compile is task based. Next in 1973, Unix was developed. Developed by the Dennis Ritchie and Ken Damson, Brian Kenyan, right? Yes, same persons here. Yes, Dennis Ritchie and Ken Damson. Okay, they have rewritten. So they have, yes, rewritten. Yes, rewritten. Yes, C language. Rewritten C language. Yes, C language for Unix base. For Unix base. They have rewritten. So initially, it's a task based compiler. Next, read it in for Unix base. Okay, so Dennis Ritchie and Ken Damson have rewritten, they have rewritten C language, C language for Unix base. Unix base and named as, and named, and named as, yes, named as K and R compiler, K and R compiler, K and R compiler. Yes, in 1979, in 1979, Dennis Ritchie and Ken Damson have rewritten C language for Unix base. Previously, it was for DAS base. Later, 1979, it was rewritten for Unix base and named as K and R compiler. K and R compiler. K and R compiler. Yes, this K and R compiler. Yes, this K and R compiler. Yes, submitted to. Yes, submitted. Submitted to ANC. Submitted to ANSI. Okay. Yes, submitted to ANSI. So, what is ANSI? Yes, what is ANSI here? ANSI stands for yes, American, yes, American National, American National Standard, American National Standard, yes, Institute, Institute, yes, American National Standard Institute. Okay. Yes, here. Kender compiler submitted to ANSI C. Sorry, Kender compiler submitted to ANSI. ANSI, American National Standard Institute. So Kender compiler, it's a Unix based compiler. Kender compiler, it's a Unix based compiler. That Unix based compiler submitted to ANSI. 
Hansi right? American National Standard Institute. So what is Hansi here? Yes, so Hansi. Yes, here Hansi. Hansi is like a like a so Hansi is Hansi is like a ISI in India. Yes, ISI in India. So what is ISI? Yes, in India this ISI, right? What is ISI here? ISI stands for what? Yes, ISI stands for what here? Indian Standard Institute, right? Yes, Indian. Yes, Indian Standard Institute. Okay. So what is institute? What is this institution here? ISI. What are the activities of ISI here? Yes, quality. Yes, maintaining. Maintaining. Yes, quality standards. Maintaining quality standards of products. Quality standards. Quality standards of products. Products in India, right? Okay. So any products. Suppose some companies manufacturing some products, right? Manufacturing some products like mobile phones. Yes, maybe some products like water bottles. Yes, maybe some mouse. Maybe electronic goods, stationery. All these products are different kind of food. Yes, manufacturing is. Yes, manufacturing different. Yes, manufacturing. Yes, a different. Manufacturing different products, right? Different products. So manufacturing different products here. So all these products. Quality. That products quality. Maintaining quality or not? Who will take it here? ISI. Okay. One second. Yes, here highest sign Indian Standard Institute. This one checking for quality of products. Yes, any products, any products which is meeting standards of that ISI institution here, standards of the quality standards here, then they should be certification. ISA certification. Okay, so once ISA certified here, they can print ISA marker. See ISA mark. I think yes, you might have observed ISA mark on some products here. ISA mark, just a printing. Yes, you can see ISA mark symbol something like this. You can see something like this, some symbol like this. ISA mark, right? ISA arc mark on the product, right? So here ISA mark. Yes, they will print this and selling the market. So ISA mark. Yes, ISA mark. Product means it's a quality product. It's a quality product, right? Anyone try to purchase. Okay, right? So that is ISI. Same thing in America, this is a ANSI. America, this ANSI. Yes, ANSI, like a ISI in India here. So in America, American National Standard Institute. So this is checking for quality of the products. Quality of the product. Yes, this KNR compiler submitted to ANSI. Okay, yes, that ANSI. Yes, ANSI. That institute yes has recognized they have recognized okay and see yes they it has recognized yes recognized yes recognized recognized kender compiler recognized kender compiler recognize this kender compiler recognized carrier kender compiler and released and released as released as ncc in the market so ncc right so what is ANCC? ANCC is a Unix based compiler. So ANCC. So next one it's a ANCC, right? ANCC. So this is Unix based compiler. It's a Unix based compiler. Yes, Unix based compiler. Unix based compiler. Right? Okay. Next Turbo C. So what is Turbo C here? Yes, Turbo. Turbo C. Yes, it's a task based compiler. Turbo C is a task task based compiler. Turbo C is a task based compiler. I think you're right. So in C language, there are two types of compilers, ANCC and Turbo C. Yes, ANCC is a Unix based compiler. Next, Turbo C is a task based compiler. Next, later. Later, yes, in 90s. Yes, 1990. Yes, in 90s. That period. In 90s period. Yes, in 90s period. Yes, Windows OS was developed, right? Windows OS was developed. Yes, in year 1990, first Windows OS released here. First version of Windows OS was released here. Yes, later in 90s here, 1990s period here, Windows OS was developed. Yes, it was developed, right? Developed. 
yes next microsoft yes windows from the microsoft right so microsoft company that microsoft yes microsoft company has taken has taken rights has taken rights and turbo c rights and turbo c rights and turbo c here and converted converted that compiler converted converted dos based compiler to dos based dos based compiler to yes converted dos based compiler to windows based yes windows based compiler yes windows based compiler right windows based compiler so windows based compiler right okay windows based based here windows based compiler right? okay so microsoft yes in during the period 1990s here 90s in 90s here microsoft they have taken yes microsoft company that company has taken rights and turbo c and converted to yes converted converted dos based compiler yes converted dos based compiler to windows yes windows yes windows based compiler windows based compiler okay not turbo c same this turbo c this is available for the dos as well as windows here for both here so turbo c compiler turbo c compiler turbo c compiler turbo c compiler compiler available turbo c compiler available yes available available for dos for dos and windows for dos and windows right okay turbo c compiler available for dos windows right okay next later same 90s yes in 90s period here yes same period in the same period yes same period linux was for the yes same 90s period here yes linux was was the linux linux is a modified version of unix space linux ways was developed okay so linux ways was developed okay yes what is linux here linux is a modified version of unix space linux is a modified modified version of unix space version of version of unix space right linux is a modified version of unix space okay so you get same compiler yes c language compiler and cc compiler so you can hands is the compiler unit based compiler here same compiler taken to linux ways also yes same yes 90s period ke linux ways was developed right yes linux is a modified version of unix ways okay yes hands is the compiler yes hands is hands is yes hands is yes unix based compiler that unix based compiler hands is the unix based compiler yes yes adapted by the Linux base adapted by yes Linux base Linux base right okay so adapted by the Linux base taken by Linux base so here that same same anti C adapted into Linux base just one second adapted into Linux base right okay so you can finally here what I mean to say here anti C yes anti C Yes, finally conclusion ANCC is a Unix on the Linux based Unix and Linux based compiler. Next one Turbo C. Yes, Turbo C is a DOS and DOS and Windows based based compiler here. DOS and Windows based compilers. That right, okay. So finally here C language. There are two types of compilers. In C language, there are two types of compilers. One is hand C, another one turbo C. Okay, one second. Here yes, there are two types of compilers. There are yes, two types of compilers. There are two types of compilers. There are two types of compilers. There are two types of compilers in C language. In C language. Okay. There are two types of compilers. First one, ANCC. It's Unix and Linux based. Yes, next second one, Turbo C. Turbo C is a task and Windows based. Now question is here, what's the difference between these two here? Okay. 
yes your question how many types of compilers two types of compilers first one turbo c next one and c yes a turbo c it's a dos and windows based yes of course turbo c is a first compiler so let us make it first one that is first one first one turbo c yes second one yes and c because first developed is turbo c there are two types of compilers in c language first one turbo c next one and c here yes. turbo c it's a dos based dos windows based here and this is a unix and linux based right okay now we are using turbo c we are using and c let us see that see turbo c turbo c not for real time projects turbo c turbo c only for only for learning purpose only for learning just learning purpose yes learning c language using turbo because turbo c is very simple turbo c is very simple then easy to understand turbo c means environment turbo ide that ide easy to work then easy to learn in turbo using turbo c c programming is same yes unix linux based or dos or windows program is same here c program is same here that c language will not change here same c programs are same for yes turbo c and and c in both compilers programming is same no change in programming only voice difference so turbo c is only for learning purpose not for real time projects next and c c and c c this is for the real time projects yes real time projects real time projects right? yes here the c language c language almost all projects developing on linux based thing. linux or unix based thing. yes nowadays all are using linux based linux is very famous so linux is in here so this is embedded c comes under embedded c yes turbo c is not fit for fit for embedded programming embedded means like device drivers yes hardware communicating with the hardware any program which is communicating with hardware that is embedded c embedded programming right okay yes now here and c for real time projects yes what kind of projects that we can develop using and c here yes and c projects yes embedded embedded c projects like device like device drivers device drivers using and c not in turbo c turbo c one for learning here and c for real time projects like embedded c device drivers okay next networking networking applications applications networking applications like like bridges like bridges next gateways using internet right next wifi the router right routers routers so bridges and gateways and routers these components contain some network program right these are developed using ancc yes in your home there is a router the wifi router right the router can some program right that program is network program yes routers gateways and bridges these are the components working in the internet these components contain some programs those programs are developed in c language so these are networking programs right okay next third one yes application okay yes next applications yes application development yes application development so here application development what kind of applications here like cloud operations cloud operations cloud operations just is a cloud operations application development just is a cloud operations yes what is cloud here one second yes what is cloud what is crud crud c means create c means create r means reach r means reach next u means update u means update next 
okay so d means delete delete right yes crud application yes to develop the crud applications crud c means create here yes r means reach u means submit d means delete what is this concept okay, let us see this create suppose any employee joining the company creating new record right creating new records like employee id yes any employee joins into company here just to yes sir the recruiter yes that hr team they will take all that information and they will submit right yes they will open one form in that form submitting all that information okay first yes employee id generating automatically here next name yes his first name middle name last name his birth his birth date next his contact number his address next gender yes all this information so creating new record right after creating new records storing to some database so that is create creating new records create means it's a creating new records okay yes creating new record right like this continuously creating new records like this okay suppose suppose any manager wanted to check wanted to check employees working under him then reading right reading from database reading reading displaying all the records just displaying suppose hr department employees suppose for example finance department employees next accounts department employees admin department employees sales department employees marketing department employees yeah, displaying list of all the rights list of all the information is a read read transaction next update update means modifying modifying records suppose any employee getting salary hike yes that salary has to modify it suppose address changed address changed yes this is information has to modify suppose so, department changed yes department changed yes that department details how to modify it next suppose any employee maybe promotion yes next level like right? changing designation right designation like this information modifying that record right modifying existing record is a update update which modify transaction delete deleting records suppose any employee resigned from the company suppose in database data may not be required to deleting that records just deleting that records like a facebook right in facebook we are deactivating some records we are deact yes deactivating your facebook account means nothing but it's update transaction status is deactivate status is deactivation right that is update then you can activate it right later you can activate and use yes delete means permanently deleting your facebook account that is delete transaction right okay so creation of records reading existing records reading existing records next updating existing records and deleting existing records right so this is crud application this kind of applications also we can develop here okay yes in our course we are going to discuss a project yes project project on crud operations yes we'll be discussing real time project it's very big project more than 1000 lines project here Pro project on crud operations this project we are going to discuss at the end of the course i'll explain this after finishing files we'll get it here using files using files performing all the crud operations in files i'll explain about this crud operations project very big, big project very interesting project here okay yes if you able to develop this kind of project here then you can work with any projects in any other languages yes here particularly here, this project will use the programming skills how to develop some real time projects this will introduce you into real time projects yes to develop the real time project you have to follow some standards next you have to follow some steps okay i will introduce into all these steps here next programming skills are very very important okay yes creating records some techniques you have to follow okay yes reading records here also some techniques like searching techniques sorting techniques like the different kind of techniques here yes updating yes searching for record if record is found updating otherwise record is not found deleting records searching for record if record is found delete otherwise record is not found right so for that operations here you have to follow some standards and coding skills yes we'll get very good coding skills with this project here once this project is finished here 
will get the conference will get the conference in working real time projects okay yes after finishing this project you will get some conference yes yes i can yes i can work in software very easily yes that type of conference will be building with this project here right so this is we are going to discuss finally here right so this kind of projects will develop in, in ncc right yes turbo c turbo c only learning purpose yes here i am covering both here turbo c as well as ncc both we are going to discuss here turbo c and ncc both will be discussing yes project development using ncc so how to build the projects in ncc we'll discuss okay so turbo c and ncc both will be discussing here after finishing 80% of our syllabus after finishing 80% of our syllabus yes i will move to ncc yes remaining complete 20 percentage and projects and building project and all these things we'll discuss in ncc okay yes like please now our own address files there are some predefined address files predefined library like predefined library we can build our own library also how to build our own library yes using ncc in turbo c can't build the library here yes in ncc you can build all the libraries so how to build the library so how to build the project here how to create exe file all the topics will discuss in ncc after finishing 80 percent of turbo c yes i'll move to ncc simply here right okay so in ncc completely project development will discuss okay right yes so the, these are the things in this right yes now let us start questions here first question first question first question yes who has developed who has developed c language first question who has developed c language yes anyone can you answer this who has developed c language any switchy fine yeah this course including data sectors yes mainly focus on data sectors first see first two two weeks completely code c after finishing two weeks next will be moving to data sectors first initially like you how to use if statement first two two weeks using if statement using while loop using for loop using do while loop using switch case go to statement next operators first two weeks first two two weeks this is this, this is code c language in code c language almost we'll discuss 50 examples 50 programs i'll be i'll explain in in this two weeks okay this is code c after that data sectors in data sectors first one is arrays in data sectors arrays after finishing arrays next structures yes in arrays we'll discuss searching techniques searching algorithms sorting algorithms like like linear search binary search yes in sorting bubble sorting next instance sorting quick sorting next multi sorting different type of sorting techniques will be discussing here yes after finishing arrays next strings string operations different kind of operations strings here next structures after finishing structures next pointers yes point is very big topic pointers in combination with all this pointed to variable pointed to array pointed to strings pointed to structures so pointed to pointer all these combination it's very big topic next functions functions are a very big topic in functions again repeating all this okay functions how these different kind of functions get different types of functions next storage classes so how to build the exe file yes in functions building exe file step by step building exe file those topics yes after finishing yes functions yes how to create header file yes after finishing functions moving to ncc yes in ncc how to create header files how to build the projects half of that next we'll go to files after finishing files then real time project starts so once that project completed then linked list concept like single linked list double linked list linear circular okay next linear single linked list circular single linked list next linear double linked list circular double linked list next stacks and queues like this next finally binary tree including binary tree going to discuss okay yes dennis rich rate for this answer is dennis rich Dennis Ritchie. Dennis Ritchie. Who has developed the C language? Dennis Ritchie. Yes. Next, second question. 
when yes when it was developed when it was developed yes when it was developed here when it was developed yes 1972 okay fine yes 1972 right yes next where where it was developed where it was developed yes who has developed when it was developed and where it was developed here yes what's the answer for this where it was developed here can you answer yes at and bell labs at and t yes at and t bell labs at and t bell labs at and t bell labs okay at and t bell labs next question next question yes how many types of how many types of c compilers how many types of c compilers how many types of c compilers yes how many types of c compilers answer two types yes two types right can you tell me what are those things get first one is yes first one what is first one what is first one there are two types of compilers what is first one yes turbo c first one turbo c second one second one and cc right turbo c next one and cc right turbo c and and cc next question these all the yes basic questions in c language as a fresher you have to face all these questions get on every topic yes yes i have prepared questions like this right okay yes next now next question is what is the difference yes can you differentiate next question is can you yes differentiate differentiate turbo c turbo c and ansi c can you differentiate turbo c and ansi c yes answer how to answer this yes can you differentiate turbo c and ansi c here can you differentiate turbo c and ansi c turbo c yes right turbo c yes turbo c is a dos turbo c is a dos and windows based windows yes this is my real time experience yes my career started with embedded c 1997 my first project was unix based modification embedded c project okay my first project embedded c second project also same embedded c sms project second one sms gate was developed here okay so turbo c tas and windows was here next ansi c so what is ansi c here ansi c yes ansi c is a linux unix and linux based here unix and linux based is that okay yes next yes next what is another difference here turbo c for what turbo c for learning turbo c for learning purpose so next difference turbo c for learning is yes, ansi c ansi c for real time project development yes ansi c using for real time projects development yes real time project development ansi c for the real time project development right okay right okay so these things we have discussed till now right yes so okay fine next one more question fifth question sixth question yes already discussed about this question yes what is a c language what is a c language already we have discussed about this c language okay fine so what is c language yes what is c language yes what is the answer for this simple answer tell me simple answer what is c language what is c language what is c language c is a functional oriented language c is a functional oriented language yes of course yes c is a functional oriented language c is a functional oriented language right okay c is a functional oriented language next functional c is a functional oriented language next yes it is a compiler based it is a compiler yes it is a compiler 
Yes, compare based language. It's a compare based language. It's a compare based one, right? Next. Yes, it is a middle level language. Middle level language. Reason it performs with features of high level language as well as low level language. Middle level language. Middle level language. It's a middle level language. So this is C language. So what is C language? It's a functional oriented. It's a compare based language. It's a middle level language. Next, you can say it's a fourth generated language. You can say fourth generated language also. Yes, how many generations of languages? Four generations, right? Four generations. It's a fourth generated language. So this kind of answers you can give. Yes. Let me save this one here. I'll send you this one. One second for you. Yes, sir. Uh, for you guys, WhatsApp group already created. I received some mail IDs already here. Yes, I am sending documents on Turbo C software on daily class express document. I'll send it. One second. C language. C material. Yes, your batch, 6 p.m. batch. Yes, the explanation. Yes, today, eight. Yes, I'll send it. This, uh, of course, this all the points are the document here. What are we prepared in document? See, same that is speed there in document here. 1960, 63, 67, 70, 72, like this. Same that what are history explained here. 1970 to has taken best features of PCPL and B language. Next, initially C language, C composite DAS best compiler. Right, okay. Next, in 1973, Unix server was developed. Okay, next, 1979, Kernig and Dennis Ritchie developed Unix best compiler, named as Kander compiler. Yes, that, yes, in the year 1990, Kander compiler was taken as ANSI and named as ANSI C. Right, okay. Yes, Turbo C is a Windows and DAS based. Windows and task based based here. And this is a Unix and Linux based dependent. Okay. Yes, Turbo C is just a student version used for learning here. Use it, using for learning here. Use it for learning. And this is compiler. Yes, use it for real time application development. Yes, and this compiler provides features to develop the following types of applications. One is application programming collaborations. These are our projects. Okay. Next, network programming. Communication between computers using TCPIP programming. This is next embedded device drivers. So this is complete history of C language. So this is just introduction to C language. Right? Okay. Yes. Next. How to write C programming? There's a structure top to bottom. You have to follow some steps. You have to follow some steps in writing C program. So these steps tomorrow will continue. Yes. Any doubts? Yes. One second. Yes, guys, ping me your details to my WhatsApp number. WhatsApp number 88179. Yes, already I created group. Yes, anyone still pending? 8179-189-123. This is my WhatsApp number. Still anyone pending? Please ping me your details. Your name. Yes, next course. What's the course you're taking here? Next time. Just bring me all the details here. Time of course. Okay, course. Yes, name. Some extra that you were named. Extra that course C language. Next time, 6 p.m. Ping me these details. I will add to WhatsApp group. Just I will add to WhatsApp group. Okay, yes, one second. Yes, I'll say it's there in group here. Next, Animesh is there. Yes, next uh, Gopi Kalyan. Yes, he is there. Yes, Shiva Sanam is there. Next, Rahul Tiwari. Rahul Tiwari. Yes, you have to send this in your information here. Rahul Tiwari. Yes, Rahul. Rahul. Yes, you have to send. Please send me this information to my WhatsApp number. I will add to group. Next, Deepak. I think Deepak. No. I think maybe doubts. Yes, you also send me the details, Deepak Kumar. 
Yes, actually, there's a lot of confusion here. With this name, there are four names up there in my phone. Like in Linux, yes, with this Deepak name, two members are attending Linux. Next, how do you one more Deepak attending? Yes, I'm getting confusion with these Deepak names. Yes, Deepak Kumar. Yes, with your complete name. Please ping your details one second. I will check it once again. I think I have your number also. I have your number also. Please ping one second here. I will add to that group. Okay. Yes, Rahul and Deepak, these two guys. Okay. Yes, next. Yes, two more guys. Actually, two more guys are there. They have not attended today class. Two more guys. I think totally 10 members are there. Yes, complete batch form with 10 members. Okay, two more guys. Yes, they, they are absent today. Yes. So Rahul and Deepak, Deepak here. Yes, center duration of the course. Yes, 45 to 50 days. 45 to 50 days, including data sectors. Yes, I will, I will send everything. I will send it. Just once you ping your details, I will send you everything here. You don't worry here. Only for recordings, just you contact online team. Recordings, contact online team. Okay, for recordings, contact online team. Yes, remaining all, I will provide you. Yes, anything required, just ping me in WhatsApp. Yes, I will respond. Sir, yeah. use a Zoom app, sir, instead of go to training. Uh, I think uh, for Zoom app, it will take very less. Uh, uh, go to training. Okay. Next, we are going to go to meeting. From Monday okay. onwards, we'll be go to meeting. Go to meeting okay. app from the meeting onwards. Okay. Yes, initially okay. demo classes. Yes, initially demo classes. We use it to work with go to training because a go to training okay. is a free one. Go to meeting. Okay. Next Monday onwards, go to meeting. Right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Next, anyone? Yes, recorded. Every lecture will be recorded here. Every day, recordings will be available. Yes, you can watch it. Repeatedly, you can watch it. Every recording repeatedly can watch it. Every recording repeated, we can watch it here. It's available. Yes, online team. Online team will provide URL to access that. Yes, videos. Just ping me for any information. Yes, just ping me about details in WhatsApp group. Yes, in, in my WhatsApp. This is my WhatsApp number. Yes, take this WhatsApp number. Ping your details. Just any question you can ask me in WhatsApp. Simply here, any kind of service I can provide. That is that is my assurance. Okay, yes, including videos, including videos. Next, Turbo C software. Next, to, yes, C documents. This document with 265 page document. This document also will be provided for you. This document contains more than 200 examples. All these 200 examples, all these programs will be provided for you here. Complete document will be provided. Documents. Yes, C software. Next, everyday videos. These three things will be provided. Yes, clear, right? Yes. Uh, yes, NGC is a free. It's a part of Linux base. Once Ubuntu Linux base installed, once Ubuntu Linux installed here, we can get NGC. It's a free of cost. Right, okay. Right, okay. Yes, this is my WhatsApp number. Yeah, this is WhatsApp number. Take this 8179189123. This is my WhatsApp number. Ping me your details. I will add to group. Okay, everything will be shared inside of the group here. Very useful group. This is okay. Till end of the course. This group will be there here. After finishing course here, I will add to world members group. Already C group is a world members group. I will add to that group. I will add to world members group, right? Yes. Yes, next in no. no doubt. So let us find out for today. So let us find out the class. Yeah, thank you, guys. Yes, see you tomorrow. Yes, today, for reasons, maybe late. Yes, tomorrow, shortly, I'll start at 6 o'clock. Shortly, we'll be starting.